there are some in the church that read the Book of Enoch, because they feel the Book of Enoch can give them hidden knowledge, or historic insight, to help them understand the Bible. Then there are those that believe the Book of Enoch, is an inspired text that should be in the Bible. This video is one of many resources that our ministry has produced to prove the Book of Enoch, is not only inaccurate, but that it is also full of false teachings, dangerous doctrines, internal contradictions, and that it also contradicts the Bible which means it could never be considered inspired, or worthy of consideration as a biblical text. Here is an example of a contradiction found in the Book of Enoch, which should concern followers of the Bible and those that feel it is important to uphold biblical truth. The Bible teaches that Satan deceived Eve in the Garden of Eden. However, the Book of Enoch denies this, by claiming that another fallen angel was responsible for deceiving Eve. Genesis chapter 3, verses 1-6 through 6 states. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. In 2 Corinthians 11:3. The Apostle Paul also states that it was the serpent that deceived Eve. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Who was this serpent? It was Satan, the devil, also known as Lucifer, which manifested himself in the body of a serpent. The book of Revelation confirms that Satan was the serpent, which deceived Eve. In Revelation 12:9 we see that Satan took with him one-third of the angels from heaven, and after losing a battle with the archangel Michael, Satan is cast down to earth, which is identified in Revelation as the ancient serpent that deceives. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world, he was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. In Luke 10 18 Jesus states, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Isaiah 14:12 tells the story of Satan's fall from heaven, and his original name is Lucifer. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? Nowhere in the Bible is Satan ever known as Gadriel, and neither is any fallen angel, other than Satan, ever held responsible for deceiving Eve. However, the book of Enoch tells a very different story. According to the book of Enoch, a fallen angel named Gadriel is responsible for deceiving Eve. In the book of Enoch, chapter 69, passage 6, it states the following. And the third was named Gadriel, he it is, who showed the children of men, all the blows of death, and he led astray Eve, and showed the weapons of death to the sons of men, the shield and the coat of mail, and the sword for battle, and all the weapons of death, to the children of men. Therefore, according to the book of Enoch, it was one of the fallen angels that came to earth, and married a human woman, that deceived Eve, not Satan. This is vastly different from the biblical account. Here are a few other problems, and internal contradictions with the book of Enoch itself, which debunks the whole idea of Gadriel, supposedly being the one that deceived Eve. According to chapter 6 of the book of Enoch, it claims that the fallen angels came to earth, and sinned by marrying human women, at the time of Jared, the father of Enoch. Jared was a sixth-generation descendant of Adam and Eve. Therefore, according to the book of Enoch itself, Gadriel could not have been the deceiver in the garden, when Adam and Eve fell. This fact, is further confirmed by an alleged dream by Enoch, in chapters 85 and 86 of the book of Enoch, which claims all the fallen angels fell to earth, and sinned long after the fall of Adam and Eve. Therefore, the book of Enoch itself proves, that the story of Gadriel is false and that it is impossible for him to deceive Eve. So, in conclusion, we have proved in this video, that the Book of Enoch not only contradicts the Bible, but it also contradicts itself, thus proving, the Book of Enoch is not inspired. 
The Book of Enoch will only confuse, rather than help those that read it. Please visit our channel for more videos about the Book of Enoch, or visit our website at refuteit.com for a debunk of the Book of Enoch. Our ministry also produced two books, which are comprehensive debunks of the Book of Enoch. The first is the Bible versus the Book of Enoch, and the second, is the Book of Enoch debunked, which are both available on Amazon, or with other major book retailers. Finally, please subscribe to our channel, to be notified when our next video is produced. Until our next video, Maranatha!